Payday Loans, a presentation by Springvale Monash Legal Service. So what exactly is a payday loan? They are short or fast loans. They're advertised by some companies as a way of getting cash quickly. A payday or small amount loan is a loan of usually up to $2,000 and it's from a commercial lender, so not a bank. They're generally expected to be paid back from between 16 days and one year. Do you know of any companies that offer payday loans in your community? I'll give you a hint. Here are some of the companies that offer payday loans in the southeastern suburbs. So what's the problem? What's wrong with payday loans? Well, there are often hidden costs for people who get a payday loan. There is an establishment fee, a monthly service fee, a dishonour or missed payment fee, there are default fees and enforcement expenses. The other problem with payday loans is that payday lenders often target vulnerable people on lower incomes who need quick access to cash. Often people don't know their rights, so it's really easy for these companies to take advantage of them. So what's the law when it comes to payday loans? There are a range of different laws that apply to payday lenders, and I'm going to tell you about some of them now. First off is responsible lending laws. This means that the loan has to be affordable so that the borrower won't end up in significant financial hardship as a result of repaying the loan. Lenders also cannot ask the borrower to secure the loan with something that they own, for example, their car. Lenders must also obtain bank statements from the previous 90 days for a borrower before they give them a loan. They also have to examine their loan history and they cannot lend to someone who's fallen behind on repayments in the previous 90 day period on another payday loan. They have to look into the number of previous loans someone has had and they have to prove that someone's not trapped in debt if this is this person's third payday loan within 90 days. Lenders must also warn customers about the risks and high fees associated with payday loans and also tell them about some of their other options. So what if I can't pay it back? If someone who borrowed from a payday lender is having trouble making repayments, it might be that the lender should not have given them the loan in the first place. If you can show that at the time the loan was given, the borrower could not repay it or could only repay it with significant hardship, the borrower may only be required to pay the loan amount that she or he or they received in their hand and not the additional fees. I want to tell you a story about one of our clients called Kamal. Kamal, he's a cleaner and he works for a subcontractor. He could usually afford all of his expenses, however, his sister got married back home in India and he had to send a lot of money back to the family. He then couldn't afford all of his rent and bills that month, so he took out a small loan to help him cover his costs. He only borrowed $1,500. He had to pay a 20% establishment fee, which is $300, and 4% monthly interest, which is about $60 every month for 12 months, and that added up to $720. He struggled to pay back the loan in 12 months and then he had to pay a late fee because the agreement was originally for 12 months, which was $100. So he ended up having to pay $1,120 in interest and fees in addition to the $1,500 he borrowed. Getting help. Payday lenders don't always follow the rules that apply to them and so in some cases, it might mean that you don't have to pay them back the additional fees and charges on the original loan. You may even be entitled to some of the money back if you've paid these fees and charges after the lender broke the law. Get help from a lawyer or a financial counsellor if you think this applies to you. If you really need money but don't want to get a payday loan, there are some alternatives. Please note that eligibility criteria apply to these. One is called a no interest loan 
which is a NILS loan for household items, medical supplies and dental costs. Another option might be a step up loan, which is a low interest loan for people on low incomes who have difficulty accessing loans from a bank. You can borrow from between $800 to $3,000 with up to three years to pay it back and there aren't many fees associated. There's also emergency relief services for immediate necessities and services like Southeast Community Links provide these. If you want to know more, please contact Springvale Monash Legal Service.